48 hours, we take you there. It's the new illegal drug of choice, luring young people in the pursuit of happiness. Tonight, a special 48 hours MTV investigation, ecstasy. There are feelings of euphoria, total happiness with the world. But there is a dark side. Katie was a little girl with big dreams. At 16, this pill changed everything. I'd never heard of anyone getting hurt by ecstasy. It led her to cocaine, crack, heroin. Every day was a nightmare. Peter Van Sant reports. We knew we were going to lose her. Sherry was 19, in school, working at Disney World. Troy Roberts has the disturbing story of how she died. You have to beware, because it just takes one pill. And MTV's John Norris looks at the controversial program aimed at delivering pure ecstasy. Could it have saved Sherry's life? Now law enforcement has said enough. Harold Dow is on the front lines of an aggressive new crackdown on the drug. But what if ecstasy has a legitimate therapeutic use? This mother of three says it saved her life. You would call it a miracle drug? Yeah. A 48 hours and MTV investigation. Ecstasy. I'm Dan Rather, and this is 48 Hours. The first powerful high-flying effects took hold on the nightclub scene. An illegal drug called ecstasy, promising feelings of euphoria and a loss of inhibitions. Good evening. It is increasingly the drug of choice among young people, defying an otherwise downward trend in overall drug use, a fact underscored in new figures just out this week. But what is alarming to the authorities is the expanding reach of ecstasy across this country. And while most users believe that it poses little or no risk, there's been a rising number of ecstasy-related deaths. As a result, law enforcement is cracking down with stiff penalties. At this particular club, Webster Hall in New York City, there is a zero-tolerance policy against drugs. Tonight, we'll investigate the growing controversy in a report produced in partnership with the MTV network. Is ecstasy a harmless escape or a dangerous trap? Here's Harold Dow. I'm feeling great. It's a Saturday night get-together at a place we have promised not to reveal. Techno music provides the beat. But this little pill makes the party. We all want to feel great for a couple hours. That's why we do it. The deed is done. It's called ecstasy because users say that's exactly what they feel. There's feelings of euphoria, total happiness with the world. Scott is an engineer. You know, I, I never taken drugs as, as an escape. Um, that's why I never chose to do them before. And I realized that um, ecstasy really helped you explore yourself. It's helped me become more secure in who I am. Scott's girlfriend, Jen, works in healthcare. Like right now, I'm just starting to feel my pill come on. Okay. Really happy. They say ecstasy is good, clean fun, a drug that makes them more compassionate. It really increases your tolerance for other people and things. More insightful. It helps me, like, learn more and more about what makes me tick. It feels you feel warm all over. You get, like, Stimulated. Um, like, tingling. Yeah, it's like an hour-long orgasm. This little pill is fueling a whole new subculture. This video was shot by an undercover cop at a rave in Miami. You see by her eyes that it's, it's really hitting her hard. This is right here is, is all part of being under the influence of MDMA or blowing up. MDMA is the chemical name for ecstasy. You can see she has a, a painter's mask on. They fill it with the Vicks inhalants and put it on their face. They're breathing in the Vicks inhalants, intensifying the high of MDMA. So you take it, and you like stick it on your face, and you just walk around and you breathe, and it feels really good. Ecstasy causes the jaw to clinch. Your mouth gets really um, dry, stimulated, and you, you want to be moving your jaw a lot. So users suck on lollipops, or even baby pacifiers. 
makes the body super sensitive. Why uh, you're under influence, you go up there, you get a massage. Again, it's, it's all part to intensify the high of ecstasy. Ecstasy works by flooding the brain with serotonin, a chemical which regulates mood and memory. It also heightens perception of color and light. They have the glow sticks surrounding him, and what they'll do is take turns at this. But that rush of serotonin can be dangerous, causing the body to dehydrate and overheat. Users have to drink a lot of water. But when the high wears off, the ability to produce serotonin may be impaired, causing potential long-term brain damage. This is not a benign fun drug. This isn't just having a good time. This is taking a risk. Dr. Alan Leshner has tracked ecstasy's growing popularity as head of the National Institute on Drug Abuse, and he's alarmed. There's no question that for some people, even a single use of ecstasy is going to be extremely dangerous, and you can't know whether that person is you. I'm John Norris of MTV News on assignments for 48 hours. Out here in the woods, miles from civilization, somewhere in the middle of Washington state, which is just about the last place you'd expect to find a solution to the problem of bad ecstasy. But just up the trail from here, a controversial group says it has done just that. Put it on the table. It's called um, Dance Safe. Yeah, yeah. Duct tape is the greatest substance in the world. Awesome. And right now, the Seattle chapter is setting up their booth at an all-night outdoor rave. We don't want to scare people with stuff that looks like too, too <laughs> clinical. Yeah. <laughs> when the sun sets and the music starts, the Dance Safe volunteers go to work, testing ecstasy for adulterants like PMA. Anybody here? Yeah. Anyone can bring them a pill. What was it called? That one's butterfly. Butterfly? First, they scrape it with a razor to obtain a sample. Add a few drops of chemical solution. Sulfuric acid and formaldehyde. And if there's any ecstasy in the sample, it turns purple. That's a positive reaction. Oh, wow. Other drugs turn different colors. Most, including PMA, don't change color at all. But whatever the result, and this is the controversial part, Dance Safe returns the pill to the user. You know there are people who would say the really responsible thing to do is to take that pill away from them regardless of what's in it. Right. Not at all. OK, they come to the table. They go, can you test this? And they go, nope. And you take it, and you put it in your pocket, or you throw it away. They then pull another 20 out of the pocket, go buy another pill, and take it. Doesn't help a thing. We're not trying to make drug use safer. We are making drug use safer. Emmanuel Seferius founded Dance Safe. Now he oversees 13 chapters across the country. If Sherry Rich had had access to one of our testing kits, she would still be alive today. Now, Seferius insists he's not encouraging ecstasy use. But just listen to him lecture. Everybody, practically, who does it, enjoys it. Or visit his Dance Safe website, and you'll see it's a very fine line. I do have one quote from the website. It says the following. By all indications, if used moderately and responsibly, MDMA seems far less dangerous than most recreational drugs, especially the two legal ones, alcohol and tobacco. Now, how is that not advocacy? Oh, well, it's not advocacy at all. It's simply telling the truth about a substance. We respect the ability of teenagers to make their own decisions, and we have seen results. Case in point, Michael, who we met at a rave in Buffalo, ecstasy in hand. It's got some sort of speckle in it. And that's got him worried, because it sounds suspiciously like the PMA that killed Sherry Rich. Good news for Michael, Dance Safe's Buffalo chapter is set up inside. And it tested positive for an MDMA-like substance, so that means there is some real ecstasy in it. But Michael's still not convinced, and he's not taking that pill. Of course, for every Michael, there's a kid like 19-year-old Jenny. She asked us not to show her face. Keep watching, and you'll see why. Her pill tests negative for ecstasy, but shows signs of containing the powerful amphetamine known as speed. There could be other substances in there as well, but it, it detects speed. It Let's just say Jenny takes the news in stride. I'll probably take it anyways. What the hell? <laughs> and a few minutes later, that's exactly what she does. Swallows her pill, whatever it is, and disappears into the crowd. For the record, we heard from Jenny the next day. 
she's okay, as was everyone at that rave. Proof, Dance Safe says, that their test saves lives. Within the past year, the first research has been published indicating that chronic use of ecstasy could impair memory. While not conclusive, these findings have spurred federal officials to mount an educational campaign warning about the dangers. We might never know if ecstasy has any definite therapeutic benefits because it's classified a Scheduled I drug, same as heroin and cocaine. That makes it illegal to dispense, even for controlled scientific studies. For the record, in Florida in recent years, for every death blamed on ecstasy alone, there have been 100 deaths blamed on cocaine. But even so, authorities' fears are growing that ecstasy is fast becoming the next gateway drug, opening the door to further trouble. With the popularity of ecstasy clearly on the rise, this expanding drug war has the look of an uphill fight. Now, for more on the growing presence and potential dangers of ecstasy, watch MTV later. Check your local listings. That's 48 Hours for tonight.